Hey guys, this is Chatting the Ember X, and this is another Hero Factory mock. This one is a female hero named Boost. Um, she has quite an interesting backstory, because she was the original mentor of Roy. Uh, Roy the colorful, <laughs> the multicolored hero. Um, but they t the two had disagreements. So, Shadowstalker, the, the current leader of Hero Factory, gave, uh, gave Roy a new mentor, and she was left, you know, uh, without a rookie and the darkness began building in her heart and i was originally going to have her be another firefly incident you know another female turned rogue but um i decided against it she became a became sort of a puppet for centaur who yes he'll have his video eventually uh but for now he'll remain anonymous <laughs> but yeah she was she became a puppet of centaurs but once she was released from his hold um all the all the darkness was drained out of her heart and she became a good hero once again, and she also got to mentor a, a rookie named Jungle, who he'll have his turn in the spotlight. But for now, we're focusing on young Boost here. Uh, she is a black and red shark hero, and uh, she has many shark-like abilities, such as, like, this was supposed to resemble a dorsal fan, of course, silly me, I didn't realize that <laughs> she already has one on her head, so... Whatever, she has a shark tail that I made from two more claws of spikes, and she's red and black. The colors match per match perfectly. Um, just like Roy, she has these, uh, tubes coming out from her back, but they connect to her weapons. Um, uh, the red, the red tubes match, that's all I can say. I, I don't know what exactly the purpose they serve, but you guys can decide that. As I unhook her, hand, her claws here, she has, uh, sharp talons. Sort of like a shark's, not really, because they don't really have talons, but they look cool, don't, don't they? <laughs> um, they have they have a tube connecting up to them, and um, well, it's pretty powerful, I guess. And she also has a harpooner on her left side. I didn't spend too much time ma working on this weapon, so it's kind of kind of scraggly looking, but uh, it's it's, it's pretty cool. Um, she has two uh, harpooner and spikes on the sides of it, and sort of like a blade type thing over here, which she can use if she's swimming through the ocean, which that hasn't really happened yet. Robots and oceans, in my mind, don't mix well together, but, um, they can also be used to create mini twisters as, an, as a form of attack. Another interesting thing, like, thing I'd like to note here is that, uh, this red spike, when I was trying to figure out how to attach this to that, um, there was a little, a uh, little, um, I guess piece left over, and with that I attached this, so it's, attached this, sorry, that was off camera. Um, so it's sort of like a little ponytail or something, and that's kind of why I made her a female then. But, um, yeah, I think she's pretty cool. I might keep her a little bit, because the next series we're doing is, uh, at least, at least, uh, I've agreed on, not, <laughs> at least I thought of the idea, I'm going to be doing all animal heroes and villains. So, um, I might keep her, because she's, you know, a predator, an animal of some sort. Uh, but, you know, I might not. So, for now... Uh, this is Boost, Hero Factory, from, uh, obviously from Hero Factory. Um, so that's about it. I hope you